Hey guys, what's going on? Come with you with my March haul. So I'm going to jump in this video real and get started because I have a lot of things that I want to show you guys. Um, first thing first, I did pick up a pair of Rihanna's, what is it? Um, Fanti X Puma line. Um, Nordstrom did have them for a limited edition. So I did pick up the pink ones and it comes in this black box. And you do get like... A dust bag so you can put your slippers in it now everybody's going crazy they went crazy I guess over the first pair that came out I missed that one so I decided to get this one but um honestly don't think it was worth $90 that's my honest opinion I like the fact that it has Puma right here but I felt that they should have put Fenty by Rihanna on this side and reason being is because once you start to wear this, this part right here is going to all fade away and it's going to come off. So you're going to pretty much be left with nothing. So that's the one thing I don't like. Other than that, it's a nice satin pink color, which I do love the color. But I did debate about possible returning this. But I think I might keep it. We'll show, see what happens. Then I went to Old Navy and picked up some more work pants. Um, I love Old Navy's. Um, they're Harper line. They're pixie pants. They're nice and comfortable for work. And right now, as we move forward in spring, even though today feels like winter, but as we move to spring, they have all the beautiful colors out. So I picked up this nice mustard color. And I like their Harper and Pixie because they are literally, I call them the short people pants because if I'm five foot one, so those, they are perfect. They are right on my ankle. Then I picked up a pair of the Pixie pants and they have this one in blue and black, but I actually prefer the navy blue better with the floral pattern on it. I did pick up like this beautiful mint green. Thought this is perfect for spring and summer and I again I could wear this to work and I picked up this beautiful pink color it's just gorgeous now I know you guys like seeing like that old navy commercial where the girl keeps changing pants and keeps coming out the window and you'll see all these colors on but I thought this was so beautiful I just love this <clears throat> I did pick up this black and white, kind of like a peplum top, so I picked this up. Think about like color blocking it and matching it with one of my like, maybe like the mustard color pants, we'll show see. And I did pick up a denim top, which this one I actually might definitely wear with my um, mustard color pants. So that's pretty much it for Old Navy. I pick up one hair item and that was the Alakay Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Condition. I picked up the big bottle because between me and my daughter, we go through that small bottle like nothing. So for now on, I'm just going to be picking up the huge bottle. And this is $19.99 at Target. Okay. For skincare, oh. I decided to try... Murad's um I think well it's Mary and Polish um set now this was a limited edition at Sephora and you get the both of these things it's two things that I actually wanted and I saw that Sephora had them for $75 where I believe this lotion alone it's $75 so I thought it was a good buy that you can get a full size of the lotion the moisturizer and the exfoliator cleanser because this alone by itself is 75 so I thought that was pretty good because these were the two things that I wanted so this is the Murad AHA slash BHA exfoliating cleanser um, it's an age reform and this one is the Murad Hydrodyne Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture and this hydrates and protects so I did pick this up. So if they still have this and you guys are interesting, I think it's a good buy that you can get both of them for $75 instead of purchasing just the moisturizer by itself. Then I pick up this um, Beauty Blender Fab 5. Sephora had this for $75. I'm not sure if it's limited edition, but I did pick this up. I love my regular Beauty Blender and I had the black one, but I never had any of the four. So I decided to pick this up. So now I have 
definitely have a backup of beauty blenders. From MAC, I picked up my MAC makeup wipes removers. I got the big 100 pack. I want to say, I think it's Macy's that had like an extra 15 or 20% off of like, um, I want to say makeup. But certain, I think every brand except for Chanel. So I did pick that up. And then I picked up two brush cleansers. I love these things. That's how I usually clean my makeup brushes. Sorry I sound a little, uh, it's like I'm coming over a cold and I definitely got my black tea lemonade from Starbucks. One of my favorite drinks. Also, I picked up another 239 MAC brush, um, brush. This is what I use. I love this brush. And my other favorite one is the 242. So I did pick these two up. I have them now, but they're starting to look a little raggedy. So I did pick them up. And I finally picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills, I guess it's A23 face brush for highlight so i definitely picked this up i was so happy this been on my list to pick up since it came out and then i picked up another anastasia number 12 um brush and this is to do my eyebrows i picked up number 14 but it is currently on back order and won't be back for quite some time so that might be in my april haul i heard a lot of good things about anastasia beverly hill brow definer so i picked up the brow definer in dark brown and used it for the first time the other day i thought it was all right i don't know but it was okay so i'm gonna still play around with it some more and see how i feel about it and then when you i guess i purchased few i don't know but i must have purchased a whole bunch of stuff from anastasia so i got this little cute little free kabuki thing like a little anastasia beverly hills kabuki brush and it came with this cute little tiny pouch that I thought was so adorable I thought I picked up something else from Anastasia but right now I can't remember if I did it's probably in here somewhere but anyway guys again moving along I did pick up the Smashbox Casey Holmes Spot Spotlight Palette in gold this is beautiful she came out with two palettes I did get the gold one because it's more suiting to women of color of course so this is what this looks like I'm just moving fast because I'm pretty sure you guys have heard all about all this product. I'm pretty sure you've seen so much pictures. And if you keep up with makeup, these things have been all over the place. Then I picked up the NARS Bunk de Sabo Highlighting Palette exclusively at Sephora. This is also limited edition. So I did pick this up. It seems like high, it was like highlighter crazy. March was a bad month for me because... I just couldn't stop. Like, I wanted everything. I did. I wanted everything. Then I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Gorilla palette that came out. Again, it's all about the highlighters. I don't have any one of these colors. Well, not too, especially like these two colors here. So, I did pick this up and I don't have any color like this. I don't know if this is limited edition or if it's going to be permanent. I'm not sure so if you want it i suggest you get on it then i picked up of course jeffy stars androgyny androgyny palette i had to get that so the only thing that i'm mad about is that they kept the cover hot pink i felt that it should have been this color like the androgyny lipstick is very close to this color so i felt like it should have been this color that would have made it so beautiful but the palette itself is very pretty And look at these colors. I picked up two nail polish. One from, actually both of them are from Sinful Colors. This one is Dream On, which I have Dream On on right now. And then the other one, well, I can't tell you what the other one is because I can't see the color. And I can't tell you. So that's that. Oh, also from Anastasia, I also got one of their... What I got for free, too, with my purchase was like a sponge from Anastasia and then a sample of their concealers. And I want to say this, i trading some points for, I think this is the Sunday Riley Lactic Acid Treatment from Sephora. I want to say trading points for that. I can't, I can't remember. You guys, I can't think right now. So I made my first two Tom Ford purchase. I've been hearing a lot. I've been... 
wanted to pick up some stuff from Tom Ford, but you guys know Tom Ford products are quite expensive. So the first thing I purchased was a Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo that recently came out. And you get this beautiful little pouch and then this nice packaging course. You know, it's Tom Ford. And again, this is another highlighter. I mean, it's like highlighter madness going on lately. But this is what this looks like. You get two highlighters that I've been hearing very, very good things about. So I cannot wait to try them on. Especially this was quite expensive. And then I, my second Tom Ford purchase was something that I wanted for quite some time. But I don't know. I just didn't purchase it yet. And it's a blush in 03 flush and I actually have it on today but this is like this morning makeup so it doesn't look the same but it's this beautiful vibrant coral it's like a coral but it's just beautiful and vibrant and this blush is so beautiful and I wanted this blush for again for a long time I just never got it moving along now I did get the Too Faced Love Light one of their highlighters and I got the gold one what is this called this one is called you light up my life yep so this is the gold one the packaging is cute and this is the highlighter it looks very pretty so we'll see and I'm trying to look because I'm trying not to miss stuff because I have so much stuff that I have to show you guys oh I did pick up the Marc Jacob dew drops and one thing about his packaging, they kill me because with all this white, it just gets dirty. But I did pick this up. This is, again, another highlighter. Now, you can put this after your moisturizer, before your foundation, or you can put it after your foundation. Either or works. I've been playing around with it. So, so far, so good. I received, I got a sample of the Marc Jacob OM, OMG, well, Omega Lash, and I fell in love with that Um mascara so i actually purchased the full size so i i really love this mascara i thought nothing would actually make me put that dior shore mascara down but i have to say this is definitely a stable product and between the two of them i'll probably just rotate now i want to say this is last but least but i'm just checking this is what i actually been waiting for why this video took so long for me to put this up this Too faced natural love palette now you guys know this is limited edition i believe it's now at Ulta and Sephora so I've been waiting for this palette for over two weeks I ordered this palette on Too Faced website it was my first purchase and I have to say it's gonna be my first and last because it took forever to get here now this is a beautiful packaging I thought they did a good job with you know this box really cute and we did get to pick like sample items so I picked up a uh, sample of the shadow insurance which i actually use it so i have it and then i picked up a Too faced milk chocolate soleil light to medium matte bronzer which i actually have this but since you got to pick things hey why not but anyway again this is limited edition um you get like a little booklet i just think the packaging is really really beautiful the colors on here i'm pretty sure i could have passed but i did not Look at this palette. It's just gorgeous. How could you pass this? I, I couldn't do it. But I'm finally excited and I'm happy that it's finally here. So, because I have been waiting for a long time for it to come. Oh, also one thing I did get from, I want to say it's from Macy's with all the stuff that I ordered. I did get like one of those free bags. So... Yep, so guys, I'm just double checking. I know I probably went through this video so fast because I just wanted to get everything in for you, but I believe I got everything. I'm just doing a quick check because I hate when you do a video and then you miss something and you're like, wait a minute, I got to take this all over again. I got to record again. Don't want to do that. So don't mind me. I'm just looking around. I don't think I missed anything. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and I hope you got to pick up some of these goodies because again, March was so bad. Every I feel like everything was coming out in March. Usually, I don't do a big shopping in March because I'm waiting till May for my birthday month to come. But March really got me. Like every, I felt like everything came out. But it was definitely a highlighter month. All right? So hope you guys enjoy and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.